Oh god! Hey, welcome back to Comic Plays. Did we go through here yet? Yes. Um. Oh yeah, this was the um. You tried to climb that. Yeah, we looked around here. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> the environments are so big. I like feel like I'm not. What's the right? Taking everything in. Uh. Nothing. Not much. Yeah, the environments are a little bigger than they need to be. It's a little, I'd say for a puzzle game, that's a little bit daunting, but yeah, it does like give the game a sense of grandness, I guess. So this is Ico. We have been pulling around this girl that we rescued. <coughs> Kidnapped. I, I guess so. She was in a cage, though, and she appears to be traveling willingly with us, so... Um, I want to I wanna try this chain again. What if I jump at it from here? Oh, no. What if I jump at it correctly from here? Not quite. His name is Ico, by the way. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, Ico and Yorda, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know about the other one, but Ico, yeah. I believe so. I really, I really just want to grab that stupid little chain. I feel also, like this would be grabbable. His name is spelled in all caps for some reason. Well, I guess he was in trouble all the time, so like his parents were like, "I go." Does it say in the back here? No, because on the description of it, it says like it has Ico, but it has like it refers to him as the name, but it has it in all caps. Okay, I do not know if I can grab this chain or not, but it has not been working. I don't know what the point of... No, it's it's part of the drawbridge, right? So it's broken. That's why it's oh, down. Oh! That's smart. Well, actually, it's game design-wise, it's actually a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, think because you think it's something and then it's not. But it makes sense why it would be there. Yeah. I'm going to keep checking these rafters. I know you checked it already, but... I don't know. I feel like there could still be something up here. This game was made in Europe, wasn't it? Uh, I'm it was like a sure big it's European. Made in Japan. Really? I thought this was like a big European game for some reason. Um, I guess not. It is Team Japan. I'm not certain, but could that be misleading though? Like maybe Blue they were just like all games. leads. Blue Point Games. Gonna find out. Oh. What you got? We were both wrong. A second. Oh no, Blue Point is just the. I was gonna say American. I hit the chandelier with a stick and it started shaking. So. Oh. Oh. You're dead. Um, but yeah, Blue Point Games is apparently American. However, that's just the name of the. Uh, who did the remaster? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's from Japan. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that accomplished. I guess, let me get my girlfriend back. Can you come along beside Yorda? Uh, no, don't, don't straddle the stairs. Come on. Oh, no, why I thought it was European was because, um, it was something about, I was, I remember watching something about box art and how, um, a lot of times the American box art is different and the reasoning is actually um, an ideology reason. Really? A lot of times if you look at Americans, since we're more individualistic, we often have pictures of like char um, the main character or like with like something in the background or, or like a villain in the background or, a, or, or like an important person in the background, like something that's important to that one person. Okay. Um, whereas with like European and Japanese games tend to have more free form and like they don't really focus on that, they focus on a broader picture. And if you actually look at the box art, the American box art versus the European Japanese box art of Ico specifically, you can see that like very well. Oh yeah. Cause like you have a picture of, of Ico and then with the girl in the background, the windmill in the background, whereas the original thing is just like 
of the windmill and like two figures running across the sand. Okay, so wait, is that the original American box art that has the kid on it? Yeah, that's the American box art. Okay, because it's not the original. This game uses the original, original that this for this re-release. I also feel like a lot of time the Japanese art like is artwork is usually nicer, and like that's not me trying I, to be like, hey, look, Japanese no, art is I, better. I think that a lot. It's just do. for some reason they choose better stuff. Like it's like. They just choose better pictures for the Japanese releases for some reason, and I don't know why. Did you ever see the thing with Kirby games? How on, le like, almost every Kirby game, he's on the American box art, He it's like angry Kirby face, mm -hmm. but in the Japanese box art, it's happy Kirby face. There we go. I spent so much time trying to like this. Okay. Did something? Yeah, like I'm I'm reading another article about that. Well, like like glancing at it, and like every single example, of the Japanese one looks so much better. I remember and, really. And like it's not even like a stylistic, like a Japanese art style. It's like it's the same art style, but just one is of different things. There's a lot of things like that, like um, how I think originally in Bioshock Infinite they wanted the cover to be. Um, mainly Elizabeth, but I think she's not even on the cover of Bioshock Infinite now because they were like afraid that like boys wouldn't want to play it if there was just a picture of a girl on the cover or something like that. I mean, you have games like Catherine. Yeah, but that's trying to different. attract boys in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that works. That's not how physics work. Well, it, it showed me that pillar before. Well, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. After I hit the chandelier, you, you you, were looking at Google stuff. No, I mean, like, that. if you see the way that that thing fell... Oh, yeah, like, that, yeah, that completely did not physics. So now you can get back up. Yeah. Or, um... What was it with The Last of Us that, like... Ellie was, like, relegated to, like, way far the back of the cover? Or it was... Like, instead of it being the two of them together, like, Ellie's, like, way put back in the background because they just want to show you the male lead. Well, it's kind of funny because Ellie is arguably more of an important character. Um, Same thing with Bioshock Infinite and Elizabeth. I would... I mean... I mean, Booker is... I feel like less so. Booker is the protagonist, but Elizabeth is, like, the subject. You know, she's, like the game is about. I actually would argue it's more... Oh, God. Oh, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to respond to that, because I agree, but I also don't agree at the same time. At the There's very a least, lot of bird people. It would, make, it would make more sense to me to have both of them Run. on there. Oh, no, don't go that far away. Uh... Here we go. This is like an extreme version of like baby Mario getting taken away in Yoshi's <laughs> Island. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they have knockback. Also, I'm super excited for The Last of Us 2. Yeah, me too. The trailer looks so good. Like, I oh man. I I can't believe almost all of that was, like, gameplay footage, too. I still have to play The Last of Us 1. Oh, it's so good. Even though I, like, know what happens. It is very good. I mean, it is story-based. I oh. mean, it's a fun game. I know, I know, I know. But it is very, uh... Story-based. No! Yes. Jerks. I feel like it's taking me longer and longer to get up every time. I mean, but there's less birds now. Yeah. They're also, like, being kind of smart about it, and they keep taking her to the one further away from me. Except that time. Well, no, that, that one is further away from me. Yeah, the other ones, like, play defensive line, which I guess makes you order the football. Huh. Maybe not the most, like, progressive game for At women. least, like... Once you get her partially out, like, 
Yeah, take a few swings and then go follow yeah, that one. Yeah, we'll slowly make progress on this. Oh no, get up, get up, get up, kid. Get up, Rocky. Yeah, like, Last of Us 2 is definitely one of those games I'm buying on launch. My God. And I, I've less, I've like, as it goes on, I'm like less interested in spending $60 on a, on a video game anymore, but I totally would do it for Last of Us 2. Um, what else got announced that looked really good? Um, well, you know me, I'm excited for all my Nintendo stuff. I was kind of disappointed with it, like... I think they should have announced more different games and made the Smash thing its own direct sometime not E3, but I'm still super excited for Smash. I mean, I'm not really big into Smash, and I really like Pokemon, but, like, I don't want the new one. I don't want this Pokemon. Um, yeah, I'm not really it's not. It's not a Pokemon. Go. It's not a Pokemon game. Um, I, I don't consider it one. It's like a spin-off. I don't even consider it, like, Colosseum or anything, because those were, like, pretty good. And this yeah, looks, that was, like, Colosseum this, was, like, a regular Pokemon game. Let's Go sense. looks like it's gonna be really big. Like, it, it's, like... I don't like hand-holding in games, and, like, that's my biggest complaint with Pokemon, is that it's become so hand-holdy. Oh, my God. Like, it's literally, like, you're in a building, like, the, you're in the tutorial building, right? And then it's like, oh, oh, guess what? You're done. Here, let's teleport you out so you don't, so you can figure out how to get out of the building. Yeah. Like, come on. I noticed them doing that in the remake of Ruby and Sapphire a lot, but instead of just teleporting you there, like an NPC will be like, we need to go here. Do you want to just go there now? And like, I don't like being teleported I mean, there. I always but like, did since it. you asked, like, yeah, fine. But I'm kind of insulted that they asked. I just like. I just don't like having my hand held. Yeah. It's like, I don't need you to teleport me. Like, And I I don't think, like, kids or new players or people, like, really need it either. I honestly feel like kids should, like... There was something... There was something about having games that were hard as a kid, and it did not make them any less fun. Like, they were still fun, and, like, oh. part of it was, like, you were... You, the game was really hard, and, like, you and your friends all had it, and then, like like three of you couldn't beat it and then one friend like gets a little bit further and then you yeah. all are like oh my god and like you go over to their house and like it, now, it be, it's like a big thing now to a certain extent though that is like those games are harder because we were younger and less good at things well I also feel like on a, oh oh you can get down I feel like also on like a design principle too um grab her by the hand and figure out how to get back up yeah um um, or follow the bird. Follow the bird. Oh, I do not like that. Okay, at least it's, like, still on this level. Um. Okay, I'm between her and the hole, so this is, like, a good place to be. But I feel like, um, a lot of it was because a lot of games are arcade, and they were adapted from the arcade where if you lost, you'd put in more money. Yeah. So they're made to be hard, so that way you would spend more money. Yeah. Well, and now much, many more games are, like, more trying to sell an experience or a story. And those are fine. Um, I, if a game... Like, I'm fine with games... I'm actually all right with some walking simulators. Yeah. Um, it's just I don't want the game to, like, be like, here's the story. Okay, now... Um, well, but Pokemon's more a game you play for the mechanics. Yeah. Also, like... I don't know. It, there's a difference... There's also, like, a difference between something being challenging and something holding your hand the whole way. Something doesn't have to be hard, but, like, if you have literally, like, someone who's reminding you how to do something every three seconds. I just, I can tell Let's Go, I mean, Let's Go is taking a lot more of, like... There's no Pokemon catching in of, it. Of, like, Pokemon Go. And that's just not as much what I'm into, I like so. I like the camaraderie of Pokemon Go, but as a game, it was pretty boring. Pokemon Go was a great party when it first came out. Yeah, it, no, especially if you lived in the city, because when, oh man, when I, li I lived in Philly when it came out, and it was insane. It was amazing. But, like, that that's not saying about the game, that's just saying about, like, how the, like, like, you would literally just, like, walk outside, and you'd see a group of people across the street, and, yeah. like, they would also, they just would be playing it. Like, everyone, like, 
I remember being at work and like looking on my phone and like looking all the way down Broad Street and there would be like 10 lures going off <laughs> all the way down. Yeah, it, it, it was just like insane. But like, and it wears off and then it wears off and then it's just like, eh, the game's kind of boring. Like, and I don't like hate Pokemon Go or anything. I played it for a lot longer after it was popular. Um, but I'm not going to be as excited for Let's Go as I am for the next, like, more traditional Pokemon yeah. game. I just hope, like... I also, wish I'm tired of going back to Kanto, because I've gone back to Kanto, like, I actually, now. unpopular opinion, I think Red and Blue are the worst of the entire series. Um. Well, I mean, literally, because they're the first games and the mechanics aren't... Yeah, like, but I also, I also feel like uh, the original uh, 151 are, are weak, are, like, the weakest designs... And, like, the areas I never was really... Like, the locales, I was never a big fan of. I disagree, but I think that's an okay opinion Like, there are, not to say there aren't, like, gems in it, and not to say there aren't bad... Yeah. Off, like, bad Pokemon in the other series is. Like, I, I certainly don't think the newer generations ha are, like, bad design Pokemon. I think 6 and 7 were very, uh, were very strong. I really like um, 5, too. I think... Five was we off-putting and weird, but not for the reasons everyone says so. I think Pokemon like Vel uh, like the and yeah, and I Rubbish. think those are great. Yeah, I like. I them. love them. They're some of my favorite from that even because like the like from a lore standpoint, they're really creative. Yeah, because the idea is like it's Pokemon have adapted to to, um, to this like metropolitan yeah, and like or, or to the existence of humanity. Yeah, so you have ones that like. Realistically, Valonite probably is not an ice cream cone. Maybe, like, ice cream cones are just Valonites. But like, like, we made them to look like that. Or, like, Trubbish is, like, I mean, I guess that one's not as strong. But Trubbish, maybe it's, like, it, it, hi it like, looks like trash so it can hide in and doesn't get bothered yeah. while it's looking through trash for food. Did you ever hear the whole thing about, like, Darwin's finches with, like, the Pokemon birds? Um, Wormadon's like that. Yeah. And that's a Gen 5. Gen 5 had well, some really creative well, ideas. Gen 4, but, but your point oh, still yeah, you're stands. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, your point still stands. You're right. Um, the, the idea, yeah. But, like, I feel like, um, I feel like the art was, the like, the, the physical art of, and, like, the sprites of Gen 5 was what was off-putting for me. Like, they just looked weird. I mean, like, some of them looked kind of, like, like, clink-clang and stuff like that. Like, yeah. d like, looked really oddly, like, in pieces. Yeah. Which, like, I know it's a set of gears, so that's, like, the point, but... And, like, I know people complain, oh, hey, look, ice cream cone, oh, hey, look, trash bag, and I'm just like, oh, hey, look, orb, oh, oh hey, look, him. bigger orb, oh, hey, look, magnet, oh, okay. hey, look, three magnets, oh, hey, look, bird with two heads, oh, hey, look, bird with three heads, oh, hey, look, sludge, oh, hey, look, bigger pile of sludge. I mean, Gen 1 has a lot of uncreative designs. Also um, a lot of, is, like... Okay, there's some good ones in it, too. I think it's okay if you look at it as, like, you know, the first thing. Like, he was still, like, getting a lot of his ideas for Pokemon out there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, But, like, I never, like, I did not like Fire Red and Leaf Green. I, I just, like, I, oh, I'm I still not like a fan. Fire Red and Leaf Green. I just couldn't get into them. I, I, I really can't go back to Red and Blue. I would much rather play Ruby and Sapphire than Fire Red or Leaf Green. Oh, same. But Hands down. I same still, generation. I still like Fire Red and Leaf Green, though. I just thought, like, Johto... I, I just feel like Kanto is the least interesting air, like world. Yeah, that's probably true. Possibly because it's the first, but... I like Fighting Team Rocket, though. I like how... I like, like, the non-linearity of that. Are we losing our girlfriend? Yeah, no, that was actually pretty good. I know we're not talking about this game, but... Oh, God! Darkness Lady. That looks like something out of, like, some kind of weird anime. What's the one with the weird guy, spiky guy hair? With, like, the pale white skin with the black spiky hair? Death Note? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. I don't watch anime, so... Daughter. You can't date my daughter. It's always tough meeting the parents. Yeah. Some boy with horns. <laughs> She lives in a different world than some boy would. He's like so hurt by that. I would be too. Oh, she's out of my league. How would you be like it if like Allie's mom came to like, no, 
You can't date her. She lives in a different world than some guy with a yellow shirt. <laughs> How would you feel? You would be so upset. I can change. I can wear a different shirt. I actually can't wear a different shirt. This yellow shirt is sewn into my skin. Oh man, don't you hate when, like, you meet your girlfriend's parents and they, like, always talk in this, like, other language? You don't and then your girlfriend doesn't speak in the same language as you, too, and yeah. you just realize that. And she keeps asking you for your social security number. Yeah. <laughs> um. Whoa, that's it. They move. Okay. okay. Uh, this looks like a torch lighting puzzle. Let's light some torches. Another game I'm probably actually going to get right off the bat might be the new Tomb Raider. I, I want to play the new Tomb Raiders. I want to play everything, but I mean... There's, like, so many games in so little time. I'm hoping we get it through, like, the... For work, through the PlayStation retail thing, because they sometimes give out new games. But, like, I'm not betting on it. Get, get over it. I'm also afraid of my computer going to be able to run it. Oh man, because Rise of the Rise of the Tomb Raider was super graphically intensive. The first one was just called Tomb Raider, right? The yeah. first of this like reboot. Yeah. They're all really good. I'd like to try those. If you liked Uncharted, it's like the same game. It's like the same gameplay. I did like Uncharted. It is. It is basically the same gameplay, but I think it's a little bit more refined. Well, it's newer than Uncharted, so I would think so. Except for Uncharted Four. Yeah. Which I have not played yet. I think Rise of the Tomb Raider is a better game than Uncharted 4, though. I don't I mean, know. It, it looks... Well, I don't know about Uncharted 4, but... It, it, they look really good. Um, I don't know what I actually did from doing that. Huh. It, like, did something. Yeah. I'm not sure what... Whoa. See, isn't it really hard to control? Yeah. I, I've been moving the camera as little as possible. Well, I mean, you can push them back. Maybe it's a combination that you have to do. Like, that's the puzzle. No, they're like, all kind of, like, locked here. And they only they only lit after I, um... Okay. But, yeah, they locked. Um... Quick press I... her face into it. Circle bun, can you pull something off of there? Uh, I mean, Can you imagine like what she's thinking school. looking at this guy just floundering around in the car <laughs> of a stick? Maybe he's, he's like... Oh, there's a safe couch. Oh, yeah, I will take a safe couch. There's gonna be fireworks caught on the sound feed. It's fine. We had a car alarm going off the other day in, in ours with uh, me and Oscars, so... Yeah, it happens. I don't know any YouTubers who haven't at some point said, like, wait, helicopter. I mean, unless you have, like, a, uh, like, unless you have, like, a sound closet. I don't know what I'm going to do, because my parents are going to be moving within, like, the next year. Oh, where to? So I might, like, not have a place to record. Um, they're not entirely sure yet, but they definitely want to downsize their house, because, like, they don't yeah. need one that big anymore. Yeah. Do you have, like, a small room that no one goes into that much? Um, not where I am right now. Okay. So... Because you could buy that foam and put it on the wall. Yeah. There, there's really no place for it right now where I live. But also planning on moving from there within about a year or so, too. Okay. So what... I don't... I don't know about this. I don't know... I wish there was, like, a circle to hint. What to do. <laughs> We're not asking for hand-holding, but, um, if you want to hold my hand a little bit... No, it's... it's fine. I like... I like being able... like, I would rather look up something on a guide, because I can't figure it out, than have a game literally... than have, like, the solution be glowing bright blue and screaming at me. Yeah. Like... I just I think I need to like go back and take a sec to look at what we have. Yeah. 
So that's where I came out of. So what moved? Was it the door? I'm not really sure. It, like... I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I was paying quite enough attention to it. Dang it. Okay. That's bad. That's a problem. Because, like, the thing about it is, like... It, al it allows me to, like, set the pace. Like, it allows me to look stuff up when I need help. Yeah. Like, I'd rather ha be f have to look something up than be, f than be like, have help shoved down my throat. I didn't really, like... Have you ever played Braid? A little bit, yeah. I didn't really... Failure. Okay. PS3 is making fun of me. No, that was, like, a... I think that main gate might be, like like, the be-all, end-all of this game. Like, that's, like, how we get out of, like, the entire game world, so of course really? we can't do it yet. You know? Yeah. Like, later in the game, maybe we'll come back to there. Mm hmm So I guess I'll just... Those bombs are, like... I love how she's just, like, teetering around behind you. Like, getting, like, pulled in the wind, almost. Yeah, I almost feel bad. And her, like, right arm just, like, contorts into areas and probably breaks. Like, almost looks like it's breaking. So we definitely need to backtrack, but the question is how far to backtrack, and I think I that's... I think it's just the next room. Yeah, so... That might be something we determine more next time. We'll go back to where the bombs were. Well, here are the bombs. Okay, so, like, I think I remember seeing, like, a like a, like a room that had like boards on it or something. Maybe, like over there. Oh! There, I remember seeing that. Okay, so now I just need to figure out how to get the stick lit on fire. Well, there's a torch back there, right? Yeah. So swing it at the torch. Oh, oh yeah, I just need to press the button. Okay. It was confusing to me at first, like, how to do that. You just need to press the circle button to, like, interact with it. Yorda, come stand over by this bomb. Whoa. Yeah, we got our own fireworks. This was recorded the week of 4th of July, by the way. That's why just July have fireworks. Because we love our country so much. July 5th, 2018. We have literally dated this video. So until next time, I'm Comic. I'm Pat. And we'll see you <laughs> approximately two days after whenever we posted this video. Unless it's like a weekend and then it'll like carry over to the Monday. J just keep watching. Don't leave us.